morning all. Guess what? I'm back out on the Harley. Right, glove time. Just on a quick couple more photos for this for Auto Trader. This is going up for sale. 8995 if you want a Harley. And this is Harley Davidson. And it is the Super Glide. Pick the glasses up. Low mileage, 09 plate, 6,134 miles. Now we did a little test ride video and a sale video a little while ago. But with all bikes, RB, take it out, you've got to rack 25 miles on this. Really? Oh, I'm just going to line it up. Have a listen to this. Oh, that sounds so good. Right, so we're going to get out and have a little bit of fun. Oh, this is going to be so good today. Now, if you haven't seen uh, Uncle Red and Rhythmic, they have been out doing Harley test rides. So they've been over to the, uh, I think it was Hemel Harley. I thought, what better then for me to do one? And then while I'm doing this, getting in a little test ride, I can uh, waffle on. Sounds so good. Waffle on to my heart's content. It is very wet, it's very windy, but does that bother me? Absolutely not. Not when I've got to rack up a damn lot of miles on one of these. Half a tank of fuel. And as the Blues Brothers say, you've got half a tank of fuel, or full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes, it's dark, we're wearing sunglasses. It's not that dark, it's overcast, and I'm not wearing sunglasses. But we're going to have a little bit of fun on one of these. So I know uh, Simon GTR 1400 was interested in this. It's first come, first serve, get your deposit down. Uh, and as I said on my uh, live stream, got oodles and oodles of chrome everywhere foot pegs are custom hand grips are custom all the switches are all chrome as well god you could spend hours polishing this thing and i'm just hoping it don't rain because otherwise i've got to clean it when i get back a couple of things happened on the live stream very very good live stream if you haven't gone to see the live stream all the boys were in there along with the man himself, Hills on Wheels and Burning Gas all in ass not ass, Burning Gas, all in ass who are two very very experienced Harley guys and they said this thing is it will sell, it will sell, I know it will sell if I had the money I would go for the other one which is the black one because it's got Vance and Hines and it's a street bob God, this is lovely. Oh, can't go left. Okay, we shall go over and we shall go a bit further into Milton Keynes city centre then. Roundabouts means I get time to poddle round the corners. It's a totally different riding feel than it is to something like the GTR or a sports bike. But it kicks into the corner as well. Once the tyres are warm. Six speed box as well. Hey! And there's a lot of torque off that back end. It's immense amount of power. Now we was chatting and on a couple of pages. And uh, we were doing a, a thing about the Lons in Vosges. 500 DSX, now obviously I did the first video of the DS and uh, oh, I took it into my local Lexmoto dealer they didn't know how to do anything, blah 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 it's probably because they've never ever seen one before not a lot of the DS series or the DSX series or the Voges sold apart from people that wanted sort of a, a 500cc adventure bike nice bit of kit 
but I did say I enjoyed riding it it would be a game changer because obviously Lex Motor are now going up into bigger CC but to my tastes it's an adventure bike it was a bit bland it wasn't all singing all dancing it did the job for the money it did the job but it was a little bit bland for me it was like a, a bit of a, a plain cracker bike yes it did the job but you know no bells and whistles on it it just it just did the job and he was like well yeah but it's got the cb500 engine in it's a chinese engine and the cb the same thing for cb500 it's a very very plain bike yes it does the job but it's not going to break speed limits you know it's not going to stand out in a crowd and everyone go whoa what you got there it's it's a cb500 mate same as the Vogue. and i did say to him go and look at my review go and look at exeter riders review and you know it's based on personal opinion it's not something that uh, really interested me but it was a nice bike at the time but obviously exeter has done a lot more reviews on the Lonsing range and on the Voges. And the first time I rode it, I thought, yay! I was singing its praises. Second and third time, customer brought his bike in for servicing, and he's like, oh yeah, but the welding's a bit pee poor around the crash bars, you know, it looks like some five-year-old's welded the crash bars. Yeah, the welding wasn't that good, but it's uh, a cheaper bike than what you would pay for a normal adventure bike. So, it wasn't that bad. But then obviously he's come back, well, wait till you've ridden one, and then mate, like, I have ridden one, mate. Oh yes, but I, I used to ride a GPZ900, whoopie do for you. I ride a 600 at present, what do you ride? Well, I ride a GTR 1400, and I ride about 10 to 15 different bikes a week. Oh, I've had no comeback. And as I said to him, it, everything is based on personal opinion. It was my opinion at the time. But it wasn't my cup of tea. If you're going to buy an adventure bike, go and buy a GS or go and buy an Africa Twin. They do a, a smaller version. They do a sort of 750 in the Africa Twin and they do a, I think an 800 in the BMW. Sort of quoting it off the top of my head. Oh look, road closed again. Another diversion. More miles from me. I'm enjoying this. Let's go around this. <laughs> Milton Keynes that you said it would upset a few people. Let's go and do an Uncle Red. So, this is Uncle Red's hangout down here with his Vulcan. And Jellybean is currently over at HBB, I believe, along with Grant Sprint being worked on. I did say to him, we should have bought a Lex Boto, a bit more reliable, mate, than yours. But tongue in cheek, boys, you know what I mean. So, we have a little Moto Vloggers group called the uh, WhatsApp Chat Group, Moto Vloggers of the UK. And they all tend to chat on there, which is great fun. We do have a little bit of a laugh. Oh. <laughs> but I am loving being on this. Simon, you need to buy this bike. Before I do. <laughs> oh. Anything is obviously no storage. I like my panniers and top box. I have a lot of storage, but not much room for storage on one of these. But the wow factor 10 out of 10. Loving it. So, if you didn't know, this is Milton King City Centre. Fun Fair is there in uh, Wednesday the 2nd to Sunday the 6th. So, not long till the Fun Fair. That'll be a little bit of fun there take the missus up there and of course indoor skydiving and the snow dome where you go mr. van thank you very much and the escape building those are normally the roads that uh, Uncle Red frequents along with uh, Rhythmic Biker. Speed bump, let's just look at that. Soft as a It's like riding an armchair, this thing. Absolutely love it. 
All right, let's get back onto some main roads. Now we've done our little uh, tour of Milton Keynes city centre. Sound of that engine though, oh God. BMW from Motor Lings. Now you want to steer clear of uh, Lings BMW after the amount of issues that Andy GSA Tractor had with Lings BMW. His bike is now at Wollaston BMW which is our preferred dealer where we get our BMW spares from. But uh, yeah, I would uh, steer clear of Lings after the issues that uh, Andy's had and I'm sure we'll be doing a video about uh, what they did to his GSA BMW the all singing, all dancing motorcycle of his and that GSA is a bit of kit I tell you absolutely love that bike would I buy one? if I had the money 20 grand or whatever and sat on the waiting list forever yes I would have one that bike is absolutely beautiful as an all singing, all dancing, all weathers any road machine and a lot of people are going to the adventure biking Obviously, I do like my GTR. It does what it needs to do. This is so easy to manoeuvre at low speed. Can't believe it. This is great fun. Nice and steady round the corners. Gotta get used to these darn indicators. Press once, press twice. Oh god. Just like having a BMW. Why don't these things self-cancel? Or have a little one position switch like you get on standard bikes. They had to do something different. Torque off of this thing. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I've got a grin from ear to ear again. This is fantastic. Come on, filter. Right, time to head back to the workshop. I've racked up the miles. I've had waffled on enough, like I normally do. And I can see the rain closing and I want to get this back before it starts spitting. Don't want to get the chrome dirty. But if you're interested in this, Eclipse Motorcycles 01908 8224588 is the bike sales line. Come through to me. Or 01908 643603 if you do want to uh, chat to the team and Rebecca. I believe it is up for about 8995 and it will go up on Auto Trader in the next couple of days. It ain't going to hang around for long. This thing is going to shift like a hot cake. And believe me, this does shift like a hot cake. Full speed run, I think. It's windy, God. Where's a fair wind and a screen when you need it? And here comes the rain. Lovely. But the brakes on this are exceptional. Not like an Audi driver to uh, hang around to the last minute. I was going to go right, I've got nothing up the inside, sod it, let's go straight over. Do a naughty. Guys, we're going to uh, 
sign off here. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the Harley, give us a call. Beautiful bit of kit. Don't forget, like, subscribe, share, comment, leave all your uh, clicks and tags and comments below. Till the next time, whatever you're doing, have a good one, be well, ride safe, and as always, from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.